Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web fishing report. Before I get things going, I just want to pass along a quick note about a new feature being used in the weekly report videos, and they are what YouTube refers to as cards. So be on the lookout throughout the video for the option to find out more information about something that is discussed, whether it's reference to a new video or feature on our website, or a specific reference to a fishing report. You'll see a prompt appear in the upper right hand corner of your screen, and it will include a direct link to the item discussed. Cars work on both your mobile device as well as your computer, so be sure on the lookout for them and take full advantage of your weekly report video. Speaking of new content, we added a pair of new articles to the website last week. The first one addresses the ever popular topic of proper release techniques. While the concept of catch and release is a good one, it is critical that it be practiced properly. We've provided a list of general rules to follow to best ensure a successful re release regardless of your target species. The next up is a very timely topic and that it addresses the use of clams for spring striped bass. While the lowly clam is considered more for targeting bottom dwellers like cod, scup, and flounder in our waters, New England anglers would be well advised to take a page from our friends to the south and give this technique a try right now. I'm sure that you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results. Now we're going to move on to the reports and begin always in Connecticut. Since the holdover striped bass is pretty well known by now, I'm going to instead mention the biggest surprise fishery of the year, and that has been the excellent winter flounder action being found in places like the Niantic River, as well as the waters around Norwalk Harbor. Both Fisherman's World and Hillier's Tackle report some very good catches being made, and while, may, while you, may, and while you may only retain two fish per angler, is a great way to top off a day targeting other species, as a fresh flounder dinner is tough to beat. If you're looking for some tips on how to land a flounder, check out the excellent how-to video at thefisherman.com, Early Season Flounder Techniques with Captain Al Lorenzetti. Oh, and for a direct link to the video, one of those cards I mentioned is available up to my left, so check it out. Moving on into Rhode Island, from Newport to Watch Hill, striped bass have been spread out through the, from their wintering grounds and moving into the salt. Fisherman subscriber Gil Bell checked in over the weekend to report landing a bunch of schoolies to about 26 inches along the ocean front, and our good friend Robin from Quanty Bait and Tackle reports bass to the high 30-inch class being landed in the Charleston area on a bunch of different lures, including the Daiwa SP Minnow. And up in Massachusetts, the Yankee fleet, sailing out of Gloucester, made their first trip of the year this past week, and they report finding solid action on Haddock, with a good catch of Pollock and Cusk to top things off. I want to let Fisherman Magazine subscribers know that while the cod fishery may be closed in the Gulf of Maine, there are plenty of other ground fish to target this season, so be sure to give them a look. Lastly this week, Captain Jason Colby of Little Sister Charters began sailing for flounder last week, and while the first trip was kind of slow, each subsequent there trip thereafter showed much improvement over the previous. I'll be heading out with Captain Jason uh, this Tuesday this week, so look for my report in next week's report video. Hopefully we'll have some good success found. So there you have it. That's this week's Fishing Report. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.